Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading here, Devotion or Deception for the first week of March 2019. Okay, I hope you guys are all well here. Uh, before we begin, I would like to say thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, all the support. Okay, you guys, thank you very much for that. Okay, so let's get into the reading. Now this is going to be your love reading, Devotion or Deception. Okay. Um, and so far, it's uh, looking... <laughs> yeah, let's see as we get into the reading here, okay? The bottom of the deck, Libra, is the Death card and the Ten of Wands, okay? The Death card is also here in the reading, okay? There could be a Scorpio here um, because the Queen of Cups is here in the reading, too. I also feel like there is a third-party energy here and there is an Earth sign here, a King of Pentacles... Uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and there is also water energy here in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups down here. The King of Pentacles is here with the Knight of Pentacles, um, you know, in the reading here. And uh, right now, the current energy for you, uh, Libra, is the Ten of Swords, and you are showing up with the Ten of Swords as the King of Swords with the Four of Wands. So there's definitely a, you know, an ending here, a painful ending, and I feel like you're trying to make a decision on it. Uh, you could just be trying to, you know, maybe cut it out here, uh, you know, eliminate it altogether. But I feel like you are trying to be of clear mind here and make a decision about it, okay? Now, you're, what you want is the Lover's Card with the King of Pentacles here, okay? So let's get one more card. You could be wanting to make a choice about an earth sign, okay? But you could simply want a soulmate relationship, right? A, you know, a love relationship with a King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles showing up? Why does Libra want the King of Pentacles? The Seven of Cups is here. Now, the Seven of Cups is an op is options, right? There's also confusion here. Wow. Um, you could be confused about making a decision about an Earth sign here. That could be the case here. You could also just, you know, want an Earth sign here, but, you know, they are an option, okay? You could be their option as well, okay? You could be really wanting to be with this Earth sign, but you are their option. So with the Ten of Swords over here, which is a painful ending, it could just be backstabbing here, um, which is kind of the same thing, but, um, and the Death card showing up twice here, uh, I feel like, you know, there could be an option here. There could be options here, okay? We do have the Three of Wands showing up, yeah, definitely in the reading, okay? So over here, this is interesting, we have the this is how you're seeing them, Libra, as the Three of Cups in the reverse with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Ouch. Okay. With the Two of Wands, you're seeing them as trying to carve out a new path here. Okay. They could be a water sign. Okay. And, um, you know, they could, this could, they could be in a third party with you. All right. And you are seeing them as, uh, as carving out a new path, they could be in the reverse here, this Queen of Cups, because they are basically screwed up in a situation um, or, you know, kind of suffering here or at a disadvantage is a better way to put it here. Uh, because of a third party here with this Three of Cups in the reverse here, they could also be drinking a lot with the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. They could also be emotionally unwell here, and this is why, you know, they are, could be emotionally kind of screwed up right now. Uh, you know, love can do that sometimes if we allow it to, right? Um, yeah, I mean, yes, heartbreak and, you know, things like that can really uh, kind of turn somebody upside down here or turn their world upside down here, okay? Um, their current energy is the Eight of Wands. The Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands, you know, they could be going through changes here, okay, with the Eight of Wands. There could be a lot of movement in their life right now, uh, at least emotionally, I feel, okay. Um, but the Six of Swords is here. I feel like they are overly, totally overwhelmed um, about 
about a situation. You know, there's a burden here with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And um, I hope I said the Ten of Wands. I mean the, I'm sorry, the bottom of the deck was the Death card. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And it is over here as well, okay? I feel like there's an ending or there is a Scorpio here, okay? Yeah, the, yes, definitely, okay? There could be a Scorpio here because the Queen of Cups is here in the reverse and the King of Cups is down here. And the Death card has surfaced a couple times, okay? So they're going through changes right now and they're feeling super overwhelmed. It could be about you moving to a calmer place or they are trying to move to a calmer place themselves because of the possible arguing or heartbreak or, you know, whatever it is that they, uh, you know, whatever has impacted them so deeply here. I feel like they are uh, completely impacted here or, you know, because this Queen of Cups is in the reverse, that's that is uh, that's a serious card. The Queen of Cups in the reverse can be also somebody who is, you know, not just drinking a lot. This is how you are seeing them. It could be somebody who is uh, emotionally unwell, could be super insecure, um, you know, and also unstable. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in the reverse can be somebody who is completely unstable. Um, yes. Okay, so the Page of Wands and the Ten of Cups in the reverse is what they desire. So they want to carve out a new path. They want to go in a new direction here because of a breakup, okay, with this, with these cards here, okay, you guys? Now, they are seeing you as a magician and the Two of Wands in the reverse. Remember the Two of Wands was, you know, uh how you are seeing them carving out a new path here, but um, now the Two of Wands is in the reverse, okay? So they're seeing you as the magician here. Uh, they could be an Aries. This could be the truth. They could be an Aries as well. Got a lot of energy here with the magician card showing up. The um, But they are seeing you <coughs> as the Two of Wands in the reverse, not being able to make a decision about a life path or a life partner here. Um, you could also be just feeling frustrated here and, you know, kind of lacking movement in, in moving forward. They could be seeing you this way. They are seeing you as the wounded warrior, okay, and carrying baggage from past hurts. Probably could be from this relationship itself. But the King of Swords is here, and this is you. I feel like you are, you know, of clear mind or trying to make a decision but they are seeing you possibly as frustrated in moving forward, yeah, with the Two of Wands in the reverse, and that you are carrying baggage, and that you could be, you know, worried about what may come your way, um, you know, anytime soon, okay? Uh, because of, I feel like because of a third party. Remember the Three of Cups is in the reverse here, and the Three of Wands is showing up right over here in the past dynamic, okay? Um, so far, you know, I feel like both of you guys are, there's an ending here and you're both trying to choose a path here and there are options here. I feel like there are with the seven of cups here. Somebody, there could be also confusion though. Somebody could be making a choice here, um, over here. Okay. With the king of pentacles showing up in their, in your desire rather. Okay. All right. So the past dynamic. First card out, uh, Libra, is the Death card. So I do feel like there could be a Scorpio here in the mix. The Tower shows up in the reading as well, all right? So the Death card here, next to the Ace of Wands, this is the past dynamic with the King of Cups and the Three of Wands. I feel like, you know, there's two things going on here. There could have just been an ending here and a, also a new beginning, possibly, with a water sign, okay, that was part of a third party. This is really interesting uh, with these cards here. But the death card can simply be there because of Scorpio, all right? Now, I feel like in the past there was a new passionate beginning here with a Scorpio here, yes, with the King of Cups showing right underneath the death card here. Um, and I think it was part of a third party, yes, definitely, okay? Somebody could also have been waiting for their ships to come in here with the Three of Wands here, waiting for a Scorpio. 
Wow, this is super interesting here in this reading, okay? And, um, yeah. So before we go on, though, uh, Libra, there are a lot of people in this reading already. The King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and, um, yes, and there could be even more. The Magician is also here, and it can talk about Aries, um, or Virgo, actually, okay? And we could have a Virgo here in the mix as well when the Knight and the King of Pentacles are both showing up here, all right? And um, I'm going to be going over to Vimeo, you guys. I'm going to be doing the extended, and I'm going to talk about uh, the current dynamic, what is challenging this union, what they're worried about, or rather what they are hiding, the best case scenario, and the outcome. Okay, you guys, over on Vimeo. And um, all the extendeds you can view for only $8.99. If you need a private reading, they are $22. And I'm wishing you guys so much power and light, okay? The link is below.